Hi guys, welcome to Henry's Rock and Roll and Boogie Piano Lessons. Today we're going to learn about Fats Domino, who um, was a great, great, great piano player. One of the greatest of all, maybe the greatest of all, depending on who you talk to. And um, he, he uh, invented this way of playing rock and roll, uh, very inspired by the New Orleans scene, the guys that he, he had listened to, like Professor Longhair, James Booker, people who were his contemporaries. And he, he had loads of hits, he had loads and loads of hits and um, in his own style. And we're gonna learn um, some of what he did. And uh, of course the most famous one is Blueberry Hill, which is like... <laughs> Stuff like Blue Monday. And then he'd do all the boogie woogie stuff as well, things like I'm Ready and um, The Fat Man, you know, The Fat Man, that song. some of this stuff um, so we're going to switch to the view from above uh, thanks for checking in hello so fast domino for me is all about the groove and the rhythm and it's a lot of triplets and a triplets feel is this when we play with this rhythm So this here is a B-flat chord, our thumb is on the F, this finger is on the B-flat, this finger is on the D, and our little finger is on the F up the top. But it's a big chord with four notes in it, and we call that a B-flat chord. Yeah, and then with the left hand, remember I said boogie woogie is all about the left hand. We're going to play a groove part that goes like this. finger on the B flat and we hit the B flat up the top with our thumb and this finger here hits the D and this finger hits the F so it goes like this just practice that for a while that's half the riff that is half of what we're going to play like this yeah then we hit the F again and then we, with this finger, we hit the D flat and we slide off the D flat onto the D and then this finger hits the F again. So it's like this. Yeah. And then when we combine the two together, we combine this this we get that fat stomach on sound which is like this
So the next thing we need to learn is moving up to the next chord. Um, and what we want to try and do is change chords in the right hand without moving too much. So when we're moving up to the next chord, which is an E flat chord, what we're going to do is move our thumb up to the G. This finger stays on the B flat because the B flat note is in both the B flat chord and the E flat chord. So it stays. This finger moves up to the E flat, moves up one, and the little finger moves up to the G up the top. So we have this effect. Or we can leave this note out if we want and just do this. And if we want to get really clever, we can include this note, which turns it into an E flat seven. That's the uh, D flat and it makes it sound bluesy. Anyway, that's changing the chord for the right hand. Now the left hand riff, we have little finger on the E flat and then the thumb on the E flat above. And it's the same thing we just play, just on a different chord. And it goes like this. G, this finger on the B flat, hit the B flat again, and this finger hits the G flat, slides up to the G, and then we hit the B flat again. So it's like this. finger on the G. And uh, with our middle finger on the D flat to make it a fuller chord. Okay, the third chord is the F chord. And we've, we've uh, worked with the F chord before in some of my other tutorials. Um, and the riff uh, in the left hand, we have our little finger on the F, thumb on the F above, and it's the same thing again, just on the F chord. Then this finger hits the A, this finger hits the C, hit the C again, then the A flat sliding up to the A, and then the C. So it's this effect. And then the right hand part, we slide up again. We have our thumb on the A, this finger goes on the C, this finger goes on the E flat, and then this finger, the little finger, goes on the F. the F7 chord we call that um, and when we play them together if you want to play the part up here it sounds like this 